I'll be attempting to earn the Platinum Trophy for Flintlock the Siege of Dawn on its highest difficulty possessed. That will add a lot of pressure on me to succeed, especially with my reputation on the line. Oh, where'd that shot come from? Wow. For this Platinum Hunt, our rep is on the line. It is fine, but we'll have to keep some trophies in our minds. Some take time, especially when trying to become a war hero to achieve. We'll have to stack our points and try not to get hit. Whoa, but that'll be later in the hunt. Within 39 trophies, have some guys to punt. Kick them out of the world, put them in the place while also trying to upgrade everything that we have on us. Yep, to succeed while on possess a challenge indeed. Can I get it done? Well, let's just see. Can I get it done? Well, let's just see. Uh. Again, we are going for this Platinum on Possessed Difficulty. This game's hard mode if the three skulls weren't screaming death enough already. We play as a character named Nor. Our goal is to take down some gods that are wreaking havoc by unleashing the undead onto the world. There will be a few trophies we will go for by trying to take those gods out later. We come in contact with our first god and... That doesn't look good. Oh no. As death. Yep, that's, that's, that's a whole lot of death. Fail to stop it. Luckily, we are saved by Enki. He'll be joining us on this quest. He's somewhat of a lesser god, or so he says. You're a god. There are lesser and greater gods. Most of this is tutorial stuff to get us familiar with the controls and how to use Enki to our advantage. Our first true combat test is this Hamlet. It needs to be liberated and I must defeat the undead leader to do so. This is my first of nine I'll need to free for a trophy later on. Gotta get rid of his uh armor. Oh damn. Oh am I dead? I'm dead too. Oh that's right I gotta start parrying. Not that though. It's almost done. There we go. Got that armor gone. It's the first step. There we go, get out of here. After defeating this leader, the coffee shop opens and here I earn rewards like an extra healing flask. I can also buy clothes with my reputation. Yeah, I won't be wasting much rep on that though. Rep is way too important on this journey, seeing as I use it to purchase skills, upgrades, and more. In this coffee shop, I took the opportunity to pop my first trophy. Bam, troph, a shot of espresso. Shoot your gun in a coffee shop. This being an open world game, my main mission was in one direction so i went the complete opposite way i interacted with a skull that allows me to traverse through rifts that spawn it's a pretty dope way of traversing this route led me to my first inky feather and then i used the rifts to head down a path i can intentionally grind some deaths for a trophy very very intentional you know i was just trying to get it out the way that's all damn out the cap <laughs> I fought the leader and restored the Hamlet. I was on my last life too, just before hitting 10 deaths for the trophy. However, I did unlock a quick trophy after entering this coffee shop by simply using my hard earned rep to buy the cheapest clothes I could and switch into them. Boom, and we get a trophy. Kit inspection. It wasn't long before the Reaper collected on that 10th death for my trophy. Uh, this is a problem. I'm running. Bam, I pushed the wrong thing. Mistakes were made, our 10th death. In The Witcher, there's this dope mini game called Gwent. It's a card game to play within The Witcher world. Well, in this game, we have a mini game called Sebo that we can play with the locals. There's a benefit to playing whoever you can when you get the chance. That benefit is reputation. Also, there's a trophy if I can manage to beat three different players in a row. The goal of Sebo is to put the coins in a triangle. If you're the one attacking and for the person defending, keep the opponent from doing so. But it has to be all within a limited amount of turns. This Sebo trophy trophy was a bit tougher to earn than I thought it would be. Attacking. I think the middle of the board is most important, yeah. Damn. Dang, it's crazy how I do so much better the second time, bro. I need to do this good the first time, yeah. Aha. Let's do this. Because he'll have to push. 
put yeah let's go good good things coming three look up in the sky like right about there you see that giant triangular crystal up there well when you see those just know a revenant's nearby i reached it at my first of three revenants to face in order to unlock a trophy up here i hopped into the pit to take it on in the process of fighting it i earned two trophies during this fight but with two fortunate things happening some misfortune had to happen to balance things out oh get on your ass buddy oh let's go we going in let's go get on the ground oh i don't know what that was uh oh come down here where you going Rift Finder, Troph, activate 20 skulls as this boss is trying to run away. Get back here. Oh, is the Revenant the leader? Oh, here we go. Come here. We're not done with you. We're not done with you. Ult. Ult. Go with the ulti. Let's go. I can't. Oh, a name for yourself. Oh. With a single claim, convert at least a thousand battle experience into reputation. Dang it, yo! But I messed up because I couldn't even see, and I didn't. I thought he was staggered, but oh well. Okay. Me heal. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Get out of here. Banking the thousand points trophy was pretty much given to me, but don't worry, we will get to the other two tougher versions of that trophy later in the video. For now, I went to do some of the side missions. In one of the side missions, I went to the mines to retrieve our buddy's blunderbuss from some bandits that stole it. We got it back and also had an explosive encounter earning a trophy. Where are they at? Oh, uh oh. Am I dead? I'm dead as hell, ain't I? Yeah. <laughs> I am dead. I got trapped. All right, how do y'all feel now? Let's ult, let's ult. GG, massacre. Kill five enemies within two seconds. Earlier on in the game, at the campsite, one of our campsite companions, Boz, gave me a secondary firearm. It's a musket that I can snipe with, allowing me to pull off these dope ass slow motion headshots. I pulled off 20 of them for a trophy trophy yeah there we go head hunter killed 20 enemies with a headshot inky has been essential to combat i found my first cursed relic that i can equip to him and it adds a damage reduction to enemies this relic helps me to get my next trophy when i run into a mini boss fight so i have my fire status effect from my axe weapon the curse status effect from just using inky to attack plus the damage reduction from the cursed relic that makes three different status effects to add to this enemy and a trophy pop. Oh, trope. Hold on. Malediction. Apply three different status effects onto a single enemy at the same time. On the way out of the cave, I think I finally found a hill to slide down that's long enough to earn a trophy. Up oh, slide. Five seconds. Oh, this is a five seconds for sure. This is the five seconds for sure. Yeah. Land surfer. My main goal is to make it to the city of Rit. I was struggling to do so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hell no, nah. I need to get my, I need to get my loot back expeditiously. No, what is happening? No, 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 bro. On the way there, I did locate my final armor piece to have a full three piece armor set. Yeah, I knew it was a trap. Look at it, look. They tried to play me right there. They tried to play me right there. Ooh, and a trophy right here, full metal. I reached the city of Rit. Before I went on to face our first actual god fight in this area, I was able to purchase my first skill in the top row of the skill tree. Oh, okay, it is the top. Top of the class. When it came time to confront Ramura for the God Killer trophy, I didn't know what to expect. Was this fight about to be difficult as hell? Would it be a fun boss fight to play? I could only hope I was prepared enough to do well against her. All right, here we go, here we go. What you gonna do? Oh, let's go. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, I gotta parry multiple times. Oh, that's hard. Gotta dodge that. Oh, oh, nah, none of that. All right, we're still whooping our ass. About to break that armor already. There we go. Perry, Perry, boom. It's getting scary. 
There we go. Let's go. Get that armor off you. Hold on. I don't know. Maybe I can parry this. Oh, I shoot it. I shoot it. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, parry. Oh, parry. Let's go. I like this boss fight. Let's heal. All right. That's our last heal, y'all. Oh, man. I'd hope to beat this first try. I don't know now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dang, she's not that. She... She's not even that bad. That that phrase gets me killed. Like, that gets me stuck on bosses for hours. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, man. Seriously? Seriously? Let's parry this. Let's go. I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk. There we go. Let's go. Now you ain't got armor. Oh, that was different. A little different. Parried. Oh, she's up against the wall. That was kind of weird. Boom. We're so close. Let's go. We're in there with a pair. <laughs> that that was supposed to be it, yeah. I sold. Oh, a little risky, eh? Nah, I don't like that. I don't. I know what you're up to. Oh, we're about to finish this right now. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Where are you going? GG. Let's go. Let's go. God killer. Defeat Ramuha. Ramuha. She was, yo, that was a good boss fight though, yeah. After defeating Ramura, I went back to Boz at the campsite and upgraded my sharp weapon, my fire axe to the max to earn a trophy. Then I was off to complete some other activities on the map before heading forward. While doing so, I activated my 50th skull, earning another trophy. Wow. Trophy. I then had a bright idea while going between the rifts in this section. One that might just help me with earning the trophy Rift Rider. I'm sure I could do that trophy here where I don't land in a portal. Yeah, I, I could definitely do it right there. I'm gonna just go in a circle. There we go, Rift Rider. Maintain Rift travel without entering a Rift for 60 seconds. The main story leads us to a new location called Wanderer's Rest. Before I went down the main path, I did a lot of the side stuff I could do around this location. Once I did take that main path, I reached a trophy opportunity by facing off against my dark side in a mirror match. No. Oh, that was close. If I did, oh, if I didn't sidestep, I would have been done. Oh, I see you. Ult. Yeah. That was too serious. Yeah, block that. Oh, damn. I'm one shot, but I got her one shot. No. Just finish it. Thank you. Ooh. It's way too close. No way, bro. Let's go. Let's get in some parries. Oh, I parried it. Nice. I didn't know she even used the uh, bullet right there. Oh, no. Nah. Wow. Get out of here, imposter. I decided to start doing all the side stuff I can before proceeding with the main story. I wanted to get all the trophies I could aside from facing the gods and also the banking points trophies. Not long after reaching the next campsite, I noticed the final inky feather I needed to earn the ruffled trophy. So I hiked my way up this mountain, holding all my reputation in hopes I'd make it to the feather without dying. Aha, uh-oh. Whoa! Oh my goodness, she's going in. Get out of here. Bam, bang. And this is for the trophy. Ruffled. Luckily, I stayed alive with all my rep and made it back to camp to upgrade my primary firearm to the max four trophy. Sand trophy. Never outgunned. There's an ability we need to unlock that allows us to deflect bullets back at enemies by parrying them. I did that for the 10th time for a trophy in the middle of trying to restore a Hamlet. Parried and a trophy for that now. After completely mowing down a bunch of undead during a side mission, you know, like my boy Frank West at Dead Rising. I continued up the hill to reach a chest and little did I know a trophy would pop. Ooh, full arsenal, collect all firearms. I returned to the campsite to upgrade my blunt weapon fully. 
Just like hamlets, there are these bandit camps that are the same process as freeing the hamlet. You go through them and must defeat the leader. One exception is a bandit camp from a side mission that I did. I competed an attorney to liberate this one. I had one more bandit camp left for a trophy, so I went ahead to take care of that. Yo, we almost at the bandit leader. Yo, I'm about to just ult the bandit leader. Let's go. Bam, have some of that. Then have some of this. Bam. Come on. Yeah, get parried. Bang. Bing, bang, boom. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that was close. All right, GG. And there we go. Leadership vacuum. I went back to the campsite again. This place has most of our buddies here now. This visit, I upgraded my grenade to the max four trophy. Uh, boom. Let him cook. <laughs> I had another side quest I went for, but this one took me to another location with one of our campsite buddies, Johanna. We went to try and help find a cure for the curse on her brother, Luca. By the end of the mission, I had to face their father, mother, because this f***ed up family put the curse on their own child, Luca. Yo, that's messed up. So it was time to put an end to their terror. I had a few different trophies waiting for me on the other end of this battle if I could succeed. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, oh no. Whoa, going kind of crazy now. Oh, that looks dangerous. Get out of here, mother, father. Get out of here. Y'all are one shot. Yeah, let's go. Thicker than blood. Complete the Sarath family saga. I'm throwing that. Oh, oh hold on. We got two trophies, fully furnished. Fully upgrade your campsite, nice. Hold on, we got three trophies. The home front, complete all side quests. Next trophy to go for was to free all the hamlets. The final hamlet is in the direction of the main mission, so I went there to fight the leader. I did think I had one more hamlet to do after this, but I'll take it. Come here, leader. Oh, oh. I didn't know you could cook them shits, yo. That's fine, that's fine. Come on down here. Come on down. You know I have some of these then. Yeah, there you go. You finally decide to come down and play with the big boys. Have some of this. A place to call home, free all hamlets. Nice, I didn't know that was the last one. I had two more revenants to hunt down. These two were up in some high areas. I needed to put my platforming skills to the test. Okay, we're good, let's go down. Hell yeah. I managed to reach the final revenant, the deep. All right, here we go. The deep one. Bring it on, last revenant. You're between me and my troph. Oh, parry. Bam. They almost got the ult. Ah, uh, bam. Oh, 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 oh. Back off hill. We're good. Bam. Get some of these. Some of these. Sink attacks. Collect on my troph. Cataclysm averted. Time to finish off one of the last collectible trophies by locating the rest of these flags I need to shoot down in both the Three Peaks and Wanderer's Rest areas. You know what? This reminds me of One Piece. When Sniper King shot down the flag for Luffy in Any's lobby, man, that anime is too fire. Anyways, I went back to the Three Peaks location and shot down all of them. Then I came back to Wanderer's Peak to get the rest, but the last two were in the area toward the main mission I did not yet want to go. There's one right there. Boom. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Last flag. And here we go. Finally. There we go. Bam. Red flag. With the rep I now have, I took care of the last two upgrade trophies. And then bam. Forge Master's favor. Boom. Let's go. Ahead of its time. I have one more collectible trophy to earn for finding shrines that up my max HP, but we'll get to that in a bit. It was time to push forward and proceed with the main missions. The next god that had to catch these hands, well, Axe, was Duckmar. And Duckmar was gonna make us earn that trophy. Oh, okay. I to be sure. Okay, we gotta do the parry stuff like we were doing last time. Parry. Oh, that's it. Okay. You don't have like a 
You don't have like a phase of parries, just one parry, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Oh, man, I whiffed. Boss fights are always intimidating when you first do them because, you know, you don't really know what to expect. Might be able to see the second phase at least. Just got to keep that aggro. There we go. Let's see what else you about to do. Okay, what's this? What's going on here? Oh, okay. Oh, ooh, okay. Now I got to shoot. I got to shoot at the right time. Bam, got you. Yeah, what you gonna do, Pimpin? Dodge, jump, dodge. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, I thought I could parry that. Dang it, I tried to parry it. I didn't see, it was it was so much color blasts going on, it was hard to see the red. Oh, I didn't know I could just jump over that. Oh, that's cool, that's way better. Wow, jump that. Jump that. Ooh, oh, I didn't know what it was gonna do. Ooh, he tried to, he just spamming. He's spamming at this point. Boom, boom, boom. He's gonna do his unparryables. Hey, oh, ooh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let me heal my last heal. This is, this is it right here. Got it. Are you done? Oh, you're done, thank you. The truth hurts. I earned a good amount of battle experience I could turn into reputation by defeating Duckmar. So I figured it'd be the best opportunity to try and get the trophy for banking 15,000 battle experience into rep at one time. I would need to not get hit and try to build up the multiplier as best as I could by doing different moves that I have. You guys won't believe what happened when I was trying to go for this. I think we, I think we could do it. I think we could do it. Let's just bank it. Bro. It was late at night and I was trying to earn this platinum trophy before I went to sleep if I could. I tried to knock out the trophies of Battle to Remember and War Hero, but I decided against it since I kept getting hit. It was consuming too much of my time at the moment. I'll give more context into why these trophies are such a problem in a little bit, but for now I went forward to the Dawn location to finish the main story. The next boss trophy we were going for is a life left behind. To earn this, we will need to take out a Anaya. Uh oh. All right, Anaya. All right, Anaya. Oh. 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 Okay. Let me heal. Oh, let me heal, Anaya. I said, let me heal. There we go. Parried. Okay, I see the time to parry. Let's heal. Oh no. Dang. All right. It's okay. Let's okay. Let's back off. Let's reset. Dodge that. Come on. Do the other move. Do the. She she stopped doing the parryable. All right. Come on. Then she does the move. It's damn, bro. Okay. There we go. I, I feel like I can hit her consistently on that third hit. Oh man. Okay. Oh, a parry. Come on. He's almost done. Finish it for me. Yes, there we go. Alright, second phase, dude. My first time in second phase. Let's go. Ooh. 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 Uh oh, I don't know what that oh, okay. Yo, what is that doing? Oh. Oh. Oh, that was too close. Oh, okay. Ah, if I can make it to second phase with heals, I think we're in a good spot. Almost got her first phase. Thank you. Let's go. We made it to the second phase with two heals. That's not by it. That's better than the first time we made it here. For sure. Let's do this. Headshot her ass. Okay, let me shoot that. There we go. Oh, let's go, let's go. Get out of here, Anaya. That's GG. That's GG. A life left behind.
The good thing about beating Anaya is the amount of battle experience I had ready to lock in. I didn't expect to get 15,000 battle experience for winning, which guarantees the trophy a battle to remember even if I get hit. Since I have this much battle experience, this is the best opportunity for me to try to earn War Hero as well. I'd have to be super careful while also trying to build up my multiplier through using different types of attacks. Again, I have to not get hit while also getting kills. I gotta get him. Oh, I got my ult. That's ult. I got a trophy. I don't know. I got. I think he hit me with the axe, yo. I think that other one threw the axe at me. That was my chance, yo. Dang it. Oh my goodness, dude. 50,000 is gonna be crazy. That felt bad as hell to sell, but oh well. Before trying to take on the final boss, I grabbed the last collectible trophy. Then I moved on to the final god, Uru. Time for a rematch against Buddy. Oh, whoa. Hold on, Uru. Just, can you just relax? Just one second. Oh man. Wow. Okay. Stop you from doing that. Oh no. I don't know what they expect from me right there. Oh sh oh boy. Oh, okay, run away from that. What? I ran away and still got hit. Oh, Perry. Whoa, this dude is crazy. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, Uru. Alright. Not going bad now. It's not going bad now. Starting to get a little flow. Nope. Damn. Damn, that's death. Oh, no. I know it isn't just going to be this, yeah. I know it isn't. Oh, run. No. Oh boy. There we go. Yo, what the fuck is happening? Wow. Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. Okay, we could do this. We could do this. Throw this down. Come on, one more. Whoa, get down here. Ooh, you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's raging. Oh, I don't have any. Ooh. Heal, 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 please. I can't see, Uru. Got you. Let's go. Uh oh. Ooh. 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 Okay. We could do this without you, Inks. Okay, then. Gonna handle this for you, Inks. Gonna handle this for you, Inks. Wow. My dad? No, thank you. The second phase is gonna be a problem. I can sense it. It's the same thing as the first phase, just without Inky. I had to think about it like that. Except and that too. That. Oh, I didn't even see that he was doing that. All right. Damn. Let's heal. I think I messed up. I knew it. Twenty minutes later. Yeah, bro. I can tell I'm getting tired because my uh my reaction time slowing all right bury that i need to make sure i'm parrying everything i can like the drop kick needs to get parried that needs to get parried or right, there we go this needs to be dodged and then jumped over and then okay parried bury this whoa it's starting to fucking lag oh he's back Oh, he is bigger. Yo, look at him. Get that, get his ass, Inky. Where you at? Let's go, Inky. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Inky. 
Get his ass. You out here representing Inky? Uh-oh. Dodge. 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 So close. So close. So close. Dodge that. Dodge that. Dodge that. Oh, no. Oh. Whew. We just need... Yes. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Free at last, baby. On the last attempt. So I said it might have been another attempt after this because, you know, sometimes you say, oh, just one more. The next, you know, one more and then one more and then one more. But we did it, dude. Defeat Uru. Get the fuck out of here. New day and the final trophy, War Hero, to try to earn to unlock the Platinum Trophy. But this would be the toughest challenge of the Platinum Hunt yet. I have to bake 50,000. I repeat, 50,000 reputation at one time. And since I've sold my other opportunities after getting a big amount of battle experience, wow. after beating the gods, this would not be an easy feat. I needed a plan of attack. Earlier on in the playthrough i faced a stone boss in the forging grounds a tough boss at that that took me many attempts to beat the reason this boss was so tough is because of what it was guarding and that is the herald blade this weapon is important to my strat because it does more damage based on how much of a multiplier i build up and also if i do charge attacks with it i can gain multiplier percentage so i have the weapon now i need a location to do this so i decided to make a route through wanderer's rest to take that would be safest i'll start down at the bottom of the map in Cape Reunion, then make my way up to Pilgrim's Outlook and go on from there to try to take out as many enemies as I could, all while not taking damage at all. I would need to use everything in my arsenal strategically to build up my percentage. I can gain percentage by shooting, dealing melee damage, using grenades, and more, but you only get the percentage once per attack. Only exception is the charged attack from this weapon I'm using. This can constantly build up my percentage no matter what. After grabbing a reputation bonus, I make my way through and I was making some big mistakes at first. Whoa, what happened? See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. What? Where? There we go. One down. Let me go up here just to make sure nobody shoots me. All right. Oh my god, bro. Then I got on a pretty good run. I was taking my sweet time trying to check every corner in hopes I don't get surprised by any enemy that could ruin my multiplier. I did really good and made my way all the way through Cape Reunion. Then I successfully made it through Pilgrim's Outlook as well with a good amount of battle points. I'm like two hours into this and after being extra careful this whole time, you won't believe what happens to me next. Oh. Please don't let that be what f***s me up, bro. Yes! Oh my god, bro. Hell Saved. Yeah. I'm glad I had some quick thinking. I had no idea this technique would work for this game. I just hoped it did because I did not feel like trying this all over again. It saved my trophy opportunity, so it. I'm glad it did. I was pretty close to earning this trophy. It just took me a little bit more patience before this. Uh oh, they're all enemies. That one can die. That one died too. There we go. Is that it? That might be, this might be all we need, I think. Let me calculate, hold on. All right, I think this is the trophy right here. Let's do it. If if I do this and it doesn't pop, it would be kind of tilted, I ain't gonna lie. Let's see. Yep, there we go. War hero with a single claim, convert at least 50,000 battle experience into rep and then Hero of the Coalition. Obtain all other trophies. Let's go, y'all. We on to the, the next one.